Welcome back. Are you ready for a new year where you can start things over in an area of your life? Experts say part of that new season is letting go of grudges. Dr. Suzanne Deggs White is the chair of counseling and counselor education at NIU College of Education and joins us now with why and how we can do this. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Great. I hope you had a nice holiday. Are we talking about mm -hmm. forgiveness here? Because as we all know, forgiveness really hard. Hanging on to these grudges almost seems easier sometimes. You're absolutely correct. Sometimes letting go of grudges is hard to do because we feel like it's saying that we were in the wrong versus saying what we're doing when we let go of a grudge is take control of our own feelings, our own emotions, and our mental state in the moment. We talk about forgiveness and many people feel that forgiveness also is something they don't feel they can offer because they feel it's extending an olive branch to someone they don't believe deserves it. But when we think of forgiveness as the opposite of unforgiveness and unforgiveness being hanging on to bitterness, resentment, anger about past events, we can let go of that bitterness. We can let go of that anger. And we're not so much saying what you did is really okay with us, but we're saying we're not going to allow that event to carry us deeper and deeper into a place of rumination and negative energy. Does uh, forgiving someone or saying those very hard words to say sometimes, I'm sorry, uh, I think it sometimes comes across as being weak. And that's the thing in our culture, we've so much long to be strong. We want to be the one that was in the right. We feel like we need to win at everything, but sometimes winning means treating ourselves better than we might treat ourselves if we hold on to negative feelings. When we ruminate and stay mired in past events, we're actually allowing ourselves to be cast as a victim. If I continue to say this person wronged me, I'm allowing myself to have this image of myself where I'm constantly saying I was weak, I failed, I didn't prevail. So when we say I'm going to let this go, I'm going to let this bygone be a bygone, I'm really saying I'm not going to allow someone else's negative energy or some event in the past to control my present. I want to be present in my relationships now. I want to be there for the people who care about me. But when I'm harboring negative feelings, ill will towards others, I'm really not here in the present as much as I should be for the people and the relationships that really do matter in my day to day life. How do we do this? Um, yeah. Is this a good time to do it? And do you see a lot of clients wanting yeah. to shake this off? leave that stuff in the past and start this new year yeah. fresh. Yeah, absolutely. The end of the year, we really do begin to count our blessings. We're grateful for the wonderful holidays and we see the new year as a new opportunity to be better. Whether or not we make New Year's resolutions, whether or not we commit to changing our ways and stick with that, letting bygones be bygones is really important. The pandemic has put us in a place where we really want to be shed of all these emotional physical, all these constraints we've experienced. And so first we have to acknowledge that we've given this power to someone else. I've given someone power to control how I feel today. I have to say, I don't like that. I wish that event hadn't happened. I can either choose to address the event with the person who caused my ill feelings, or I can say, I'm gonna let it go. And it's a conscious decision to take over our own sense of wellness, mm -hmm. our sense of awareness, and our ability to say, I'm leaving this in the past. I stoop to pick up this burden of negative energy, and only I have the power to put it back down. And by consciously saying, I'm going to let this go and I'm going to move forward, we're really giving ourselves freedom and lightening our load. And that's such a wonderful thing to do with this new year as we begin to face new opportunities, a new way of being. And psychologically, now is a great time to shed ourselves of those things yep. that are just dragging us back in the past. Like I tell my two-year-old, takes a lot more energy to frown than it does to smile. Dr. Suzanne Deggs-White, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Happy New Year.